Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss about polycystic ovarian disease or polycystic ovarian syndrome. First, let's understand the difference between PCOD and PCOS. First, coming to PCOD, polycystic ovarian disease. In this, hormonal imbalance will be present and cysts will be very small in size and it's treatable. And in this patient, ovulation is present and can patient can conceive. Whereas, in polycystic ovarian syndrome, it is due to endocrine disorder and the cyst size will be large and treatment will be difficult. Here, ovulation is absent and infertility rate is high. So, first, let's understand physiological process of menstrual cycle. And here, brain plays an important role in menstrual cycle process. Hypothalamus secretes an hormone GnRH that is gonadotropin releasing hormone into pituitary gland and from pituitary gland this GnRH hormone travels via blood and reaches to uterus and helps in maturing eggs present during ovulation period. So eggs releases estrogen hormone that helps in maturation of follicles that helps in fertilization. So next 15 days of menstrual cycle, luteinizing hormone that is LH releases from pituitary gland. This LH enters female reproductive system through blood and releases progesterone hormone. Progesterone hormone handles GnRH frequency that is gonadotropin releasing hormone frequency. And if LH levels disturb, then it leads to polycystic ovarian disease. LH releases androgen hormones that is male hormones. Androgen hormones, role of androgen hormones is to help in menstruation cycle by removing eggs outside fallopian tube if not fertilized. And if luteinizing hormone increases and follicle stimulating hormone decreases then it leads to polycystic ovarian disease. And what are the causes for luteinizing hormone increases are? due to lifestyle and diet food so if androgen hormones if released in excess amount it causes acne facial hair and no period cycle so if follicle stimulating hormone decreases then estrogen hormone cannot be released in required amount so because of this eggs will be immature no follicle will be released then as the follicles do not get released outside the fallopian tube which leads to cyst formation what is cyst cyst is just a sack of liquid so now coming to symptoms of polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease the first symptom is irregular periods next hair fall infertility overweight or obesity acne fatigue hirsutism low sex drive etc now, management of polycystic ovarian syndrome. First, maintain a healthy weight, regular exercise, psychological and behavioral support, quit smoking and alcohol, avoid sugar, cheese, oily and fried food, eat good nutritious food and healthy food. Now, coming to homeopathy medicines for polycystic ovarian syndrome. So, homeopathy approach towards management of PCOS is constitutional, taking into account the patient's physical symptoms along with mental and genetic makeup that individualize the patient. In homeopathy, medicines are given to induce ovulation in natural way rather than causing menstruation. So, the first drug is Apis Mellifica. It has an active congestion of right ovary on going on to the ovaries. The indicating feature for Epis mellifica is numbness down the thigh. So 30 potency, 2 drops daily, 1 time we can take for 15 days. The next drug is Belladonna. Belladonna is very excellent remedy for treating PCOS problems. Glandular growth, it is helpful in acute ovaries. The pains are clutching and throbbing worse on right side. Patient is extremely sensitive. So, belladonna can be taken 200 potency every alternate day, 2 drops daily morning for 1 month. So, coming to third, very excellent remedy, arsenicum. Arsenicum, the special feature of arsenicum is burning tensive pains in the ovaries, especially in the right side. Ovaries is relieved by hot application. An arsenicum patient is thirsty, irritable and restless. The fourth excellent remedy is Calcarea Ova Tester. This is a very excellent and useful for problems of white discharge in females. Simple bland leucorrhea. And the main feature is back pain complaints in women associated with leucorrhea are benefited with Ova Tester. 
This medicine can be taken 3x potency daily 2 times for 15 days. The last drug is Thuja. Thuja it is a very effective medicine for dissolving ovarian cysts especially left side. It is used for treatment of retarded menstrual flow. Thuja can be given in 1m potency or 30 potency 2 drops every 3 days for 1 month. So friends, these are few homeopathic medicines recommended for polycystic ovarian syndrome. I hope this video will help you all for treating polycystic ovarian syndrome. And please like my video and if you have any query, drop a comment below. Share my video with your friends and family and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.